What's going on guys, Andy here for G4 Outdoors and today we're gonna to be checking out the Alien by Bass Dash. Let's get into it. We're gonna fish in, yeah we're at the lake. We're gonna catch big fish like every day. We're gonna fish in, yeah. and you know it's true. Let's do that G4 Dish. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Bass Dash. They reached out to us here at G4 Outdoors to check out some of their equipment and clothing that they have at BassDash.com. You can check out all their variety of stuff from men's to women's. They even have a section for youth and kids. Like I'm a big component for getting your kids out fishing. They also have storage such as tackle boxes and terminal tackle storage, lures, Alabama rigs. They got swim baits. They got hooks, they got the tools you need, pliers, all that stuff. So if you guys do get a second, go to BassDash.com and check out the variety of equipment they have over there. Let's get back into the video. So I've been fishing for many years and I've spent a lot of money on different reels, cheap and expensive. And today we are checking out the Alien by Bass Dash. So if you are looking for a small, compact, lightweight and powerful reel, this may be the reel for you. This does come in the 1000, 2000, 3000, and 4000 series. If you get it in the 1000 series, you're looking at a 9 plus 1 bearing ratio. And if you're looking to have it in the 2000, 3000, and 4000, you are going to have that in a 10 plus 1 bearing setup. And also a carbon fiber stainless steel based drag system that provides both a smooth and powerful drag control. The main support shaft and the spool for the Alien Reel is made out of a high strength stainless steel so you won't have to worry about that being an issue for the most part. It does have a solid screw in aluminum handle which provides zero movement or play between the main reel and the arm. So if you guys have learned before by buying cheap reels, you do get a lot of sloppy play in some of the reel handles themselves and this one has not had any of those issues at all today on the water. And one of my favorite parts about the Alien Reel so far is the unlimited and infinite anti-reverse on the reel. When you stop, it stops and locks up. So if you need to set the hook quick, you got it. So what's up guys? We are out here today on Smithville Lake. It's in the middle of January, which means it's cold and my hands hurt. But we did a little bit of crappie fishing today. We've definitely found a lot of crappie, didn't catch a lot of crappie. So I mixed it up on a couple different things. I used this reel, vertical jigging, and I used it on a little bit of slow roll presentations on small crappie jigs. I am fishing with six pound test. Uh, this is fluorocarbon and the reel is really sensitive. Like I said when I was talking earlier, one of my favorite things about it is the infinite anti-reverse, so you can stop on a dime when you need to set the hook. I like that in reels. One of the other things I like a lot about this reel is the EVA foam grips. I love the foam grips, I love the cork grips on reels. In my honest opinion, you're getting a very good reel at a budget price point. Uh, the prices do vary at Bass Dash. Sometimes they have them on flash sales, sometimes they don't. But expect to see this reel anywhere around $30 to $40. Um, I have some Quantum Accurus. I have some other Quantum reels that I've spent hundreds of dollars on that I could compare this reel to as far as functionality and the way it performs just from casting, reeling, and retrieving. Um, I did use this a little bit on a crankbait and you can definitely feel the line sensitivity a lot in the reel. A lot of that has to do with the rod as well. 
But all in all, man, I think it's a fantastic reel, especially at that budget price point. If you guys are looking for a reel similar to this, if you're a beginner starting out in fishermen, or if you're an avid fisherman who doesn't like spending a ton of money, you may want to go check out Bass Dash and check out this alien reel. I think it's pretty good. All right, guys, for G4 Outdoors out here on the water, it's cold, the wind's kicking up, I can't feel my face, I can't feel my hands, but I want to say thank you guys for checking out this video. If you have not, please hit the like button if you're following. You follow us along and you haven't hit that subscribe button because we know there's a lot of you guys that watch our stuff and you don't subscribe hit the subscribe button what are you doing that's what you need to do hit the subscribe button but we're getting off the water man it's cold it's nasty and i'm definitely going to see you guys closer to springtime let's let it warm up a little bit so we can get back on some fish we'll see you guys later monday, monday tuesday, tuesday, tuesday wednesday, wednesday thursday, thursday i just dream of fishing while i'm going through my work day i listen to my boss though he's driving me berserk eh? damn it i can't take much more because my brain is really hurting and now the bank is always calling and i don't know what to do and i haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992 but the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack and i got all